Okay, this head trash is about dealing with owners of companies or CEOs. Now, our head trash very often, particularly as, as younger salespeople, is that this is, uh, you know, we're dealing with our dad or we're dealing with grandpa or something, you know, someone who's like much more you know, authoritarian, you know, and, and much higher up level than us. And that's head trash, okay? Uh, age is not um, age is not something that we need to pay a whole lot of attention to. All right, those those days those days are long gone. People earn their respect based on results. And <clears throat> if you're dealing with someone who is uh, head of a company, then you want to deal with them different than you deal with a manager, a general manager, or someone like that. But don't think of them as being on some pedestal. In fact, that's one of the things that will keep you down low, is dealing with them as if they're up high. Once you address them as just an equal, like equal business stature, I'm a business person representing my company, you're representing your company, let's see if we can you know, work together, that's what the situation is. I mean, gosh, you know, I might be trying to sell someone who's the, who's the owner of a company who's 20 years younger than me. <clears throat> Does that mean they're higher up than me or I'm higher up than them? It's got nothing to do with age. So that's the head trash you got to get past. Just think of them as another person. The difference is you're lucky if you're dealing with them <clears throat> because – these people generally are going to get to the point quicker and they're going to get they're going to tell you what it is they want. They'll say I want to cut a million dollars a year out of our expenses or I want to open up a new plant in 60 days in Anderson. You know, they're going to tell you what they want and you can come back and say whether you can do it or not. And they can they can make the decision to get it done. So typically when you're talking to an owner you want to find out what it, what it is they want to see happen. And if you can find out from them what they want to see happen, you can usually you know, figure out a way to solve the problem. I think with a, with a lower-level manager, very often you're going through some kind of buyer-seller dance where they're saying, I want to see a demo, I want to see a brochure, I want to talk to a reference, I want to do this, I want to do that. There's just a whole lot of dancing going on. And with an owner... They're going to say, listen, Charlie, you know, if you can build that plant in 60 days in Anderson, we're willing to pay your full price and we'll pay it, you know, we'll pay half now, half later. But if you don't do it, you know, we're going to charge you a penalty. Is that good with you? You're like, yeah, done. So those kind of conversations can happen with an owner where they can't happen with a bid level manager. So my point is with the head trash, don't be scared of talking to the owner. In fact, at your best bet, if you can get to the owner and have that very candid conversation about, you know, this is the kind of stuff we have. Does it match up to what you want? Let's either make a transaction or not and stop all this, you know, multiple demo committee meeting stuff you get uh, at the mid-level manager area. So go for the top. It's more fun.